हेलो व्हाट्सअप गाइज आई होप यूर डिंग वेल इन यूर लाइफ माई सेल्फ विक्रांत राउत एंड वेलकम बैक टू डेव टाउन सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सो लाइक हाउ टू हाउ देर आर डिफरेंट वेब डेवलपमेंट टूल्स डेट आर प्रेजेंट एंड ऑल्सो वी हैव सो हाउ टू इम्प्लीमेंट सी एस एस बट इन टू डेज वीडियो वी आर गॉन सी वॉट आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ सी एस एस फॉन्ट्स एंड वॉट आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ सी एस एस फॉन्ट स्टाइल्स डेट वी कैन यूज टू एक्चुअली मेक अवर वेबसाइट्स लुक वेरी ब्यूटिफुल सो फॉर दैट let me just directly jump on to some of the websites that we have so i have open i have open this uh, medium.com so you might have aware about this medium.com that's uh, it's a blogging website so you can see there is a lot of work uh, work done around the text so you can see the how how text is beautifully like appended and rendered on the uh, user uh, like uh, dashboard you can see so whenever like user visit this medium.com or any of the uh, website which is like beautifully designed its its text format is beautifully driven so like user gets connected to the particular website and like it is chances that it is like 50% chances that user revisit that particular website so it actually depends on the ui and ux that is user experience and user interface uh, along with that there is one second website that is quick books so this week we this website got the best ui awards as well so this is you can see how beautifully its ui is rendered okay so this is one of this is few of the uh, like example websites just to showcase how how beautiful ui can make your website looks beautiful and engage your customer base okay so let us start with the help of this font style like how we can actually use font style in our websites so let me just open my html page here and yeah and my vs code side by side so let us directly see how to implement the fonts font style so let me create one div tag and i am writing inside that i am dev town student okay and i am i am just adding one id name to this uh, div that is container let's say okay and in style section of internal style sheet i am i, I am going to select this container by using hashtag as it is at is it is representing the id name and container okay no issues okay so i am just saving it right now and as you can see i am dot student is coming on the top left side so i just want it to be center so i will be using this text line property just to make my text align to the center of my page okay so it is coming center so now coming to the part of today's topic that is font style so how to style our font how to style our text that we are able to see in our websites so for that let's say uh, we have one uh, property called font family and in font family we can select different types of font family let's say i am selecting uh, this uh, sego ui let's say i am just saving it so you can see yeah, like it is giving us this particular font on the left side as you can see okay no issues yeah so there are lots of like thousands of families that are present in our uh, css okay so let's say i am just selecting this sans serif font family let's say and this yeah so you can see this sans serif is the very basic format of representing a text so many of the website use this particular format only but i will showcase you how 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 we can like add different formats so we have this google fonts website for that so if you are going to google font fonts.google.com so you can see there are different types of uh, collections of different types of families so let's say i'm going to this font section so you can see there are very different varieties of fonts that you can see and you can see there are preview as well so this fonts fonts.google.com is used by like a uh, many companies i can say mostly 80 to 90% of the companies are using this fonts.google.com just to set their font text so let's say i want it to i want to import this oswald family so i am just going to oswald family and okay i think it is not selected so mm -mm, yeah 
so in oswald also there are there are we have some options to select the families let's say i am selecting medium 500 okay so you can see the oswald medium 500 is selected and i just need to copy this link tag and also i just need to paste that link tag in here i think in this line no shoes so i am just copy pasting it nothing more hectic thing and uh, also i i need to like uh, change the found family to this uh, oswald and sans serif okay so so you might wonder like why we are using sans serif anytime we are like using this particular font family wala thing so i will explain you that thing also so we need to just remove this yeah i'm i'm, I'm saving my page and you can see i'm getting the desired font family so you might wonder ki sir what is the difference between this sans and serif so let me just uh, like let me just confirm you confirm with you see if i'm using sans okay and if i'm saving it so you can see what is my sans sans is a simple simple document and if if i'm using let's say i'm using serif only yeah so you can see the difference so the difference is basically in serif you you can see the d you can see this space which i'm selecting okay and in sans you cannot see that and if i'm using both sans and serif equivalently then yeah it it looks very fine so sans serif is always get attached whenever we are using any family or that like okay so i'm just again dividing my screen in two equal equal parts and let's say after font family we have another font uh, property that is font size yeah so let's say i am giving my font size as 30 pixel yes so no still it is not looking good yeah so now i think you are able to see it very properly so it has pixel as a unit so what does this pixel mean pixel is basically 1.96 times of 1 inch okay so you can consider it likewise but i am not going to do like go into detail but i will teach you the different types of units that are available in, in css there is pixel there is rem there is em percentage is there and vw is there okay so yeah we will talk about that unit in our later videos no issues so this is just the font size just to select the font font size and then we have line height let's say so line height we can give let's say i'm giving it a 20 pixel yes so you can see it is, it, it is capturing the line height of 20 pixel but how it works let me just show you by using another container below that okay so 20 pixel okay i am just removing it right now because it is overriding that div tag okay so right now you can see i have two different div tags okay so let's say i am giving this below our second uh, second container as second name that is second container and for selecting that i need to write hashtag second container okay and in second container i will just write it out like uh, font no font there is some line height okay line height should be 20 pixel okay if i am saving it you can see the line height is getting 20 pixel and if i am just doing it 30 pixel okay so it is getting 30 pixel so this line height actually defines the height of our particular line okay so that's not a big deal another one that we have is font weight so font weight with the help of this font weight we can just make our contain bold and we can imp imp increase the like improve the height of our uh, improve the width of our particular font as well so if we if we try to apply it here let's say font wet and i'm using bold if i'm saving it you can see i am data student in first due tag is getting bold okay another one we have is our uh, font i think font family font size and font weight are the basic very basic basic tags okay and if we are using font dot style and i am selecting italic 
and you can see my font will get tilted towards the right side so it is basically leaning towards the right side okay so italic and bold you might be well aware of because they are uh, there are options like bold and italic that are present in each like any of the text editor which is present in all over the world okay so this is italic and another one that we can do with text is we can decorate our text with the help of this line through let's say see you can see there is one line passing through our text and if i want to underline my text then i can just simply pass underline okay so these are the like these are the basic uh, css font styles that you can use in our in your code but we will definitely definitely talk about deep we will definitely going to deep dive inside this font styles in our later videos so i think i hope you have gotten the idea of what font styles are so yes i will see you in next video until then if you haven't subscribed our channel please subscribe our channel and do like the video so that and please turn off the notifications bell so that you can get the update whenever the new video is uploaded thank you so much guys for watching have a nice day bye